I'll be sharing my uh, free paper, Introduction, ROP is the leading cause of preventable childhood blindness. The incidence of severe ROP is increasing due to improve, uh, increased survival rate of small premature infants by the improved NICU care. So laser is the gold standard of treatment in severe ROP, but intravitreal anti agents are being increasingly used nowadays <coughs> for ROP posterior disease. So there are several studies and trials which showed the approved, uh, the fact that uh, anti agents are equally effective and not inferior to the laser treatment. Like BTROP study, which, where Bevacizumab was used, Rainbow trial where Ranibizumab used, comparing the laser treatment. Then the Firefly Butterfly study where Eflivarcepto was compared with the laser treatment, followed by uh, FDA, uh, after that only FDA approved for the Eflivarcepto in the treatment of ROP. Then the, the, the there is a... Uh, uh, the, there was a study for comparing the standard dose with the low dose uh, in the scarcity of uh, uh, the systemic absorption by the uh, VEGF causing uh, VEGF suppression, uh, which showed that standard dose does not have that much of neurodevelopmental delay, but low dose can have high chance of recurrence and uh, uh, inadequate response. So the aims and objective of the study was uh, safety and efficacy of injection eflibercept in the treatment of ROP. So it was a retrospective uh, case series of 22 eyes of 11 babies. A uh, aggressive ROP, threshold ROP at zone 1 and posterior zone 2 were taken. Indirect ophthalmoscopy was done for all the babies. And fundus photo with forest camera was taken as when possible. Informed consent was taken from the parents. And the detail of treatment was uh, explained to them. Injection eflibercept was given standard dose, uh, 1 millimeter from the limbus, intravitreal in the OT care under pediatrician supervision. So post-injection babies are followed up weekly basis to assess the following signs of regression of the severity of ROP at one week, need for second injection or rescue laser, progression of vascularization to the higher zone, incidence of recurrence reading laser treatment, number of eyes showing complete regression, or any or ocular or systemic complication. So the mean gestational age was 29.27 weeks, mean birth weight was 1217 grams, 16 eyes had aggressive ROP, 6 side had threshold ROP, 18 eyes were in zone 1, 4 eyes were in posterior zone 2, and all eyes showed signs of regression at one week post-injection. Uh, the second intervention, 6 eyes you get repeat injection, the mean time interval was 6.3 weeks, 18 eyes received laser treatment, one eye uh, developed stage 4 B ROP requiring vitrectomy surgery, is doing well at present. So among the laser group, nine eyes showed uh, signs of recurrence. The mean time of injection and laser was 8.8 .8 weeks. And uh, six eyes laser treatment was initiated at five weeks post-injection due to the uh, severity of ROP was high in the initial presentation. Three eyes showed uh, pers persistent avascular retina up to 16 weeks post-injection treated later on with the laser. But complete regression following single injection could not be assessed as the extent of regression was different in different eyes needing second intervention. So this is the consolidated data showing uh, most of the babies uh, were in a AROP at zone 1 and the smallest baby was 25 weeks at 680 grams and the largest baby was 33 weeks at 1940 grams. So this table is showing at first initial intervention the uh, babies were at the zone 1, which progressed to zone 2, 85% of them progressed to zone 2 second intervention. So this is a picture of uh, pre-injection, uh, zone 1 APROP with plus disease. Uh, uh, after the injection, there is signs of regression and progression of vascularization to the higher zone. So the baby developed uh, cystoid macular edema six weeks post-injection in the right eye, which resolved spontaneously in one week. Left eye did not show any CME. Uh, the baby already had systemic CNS, uh, CMV infection and there is a coriolatinal scar, so it was not taken as a, a complication to the injection per se. This, uh, this baby had uh, very severe ROP at posterior zone and did not show adequate response following injection and uh, the second injection was given. Even then uh, there was not progression of uh, vascularization anteriorly, so the laser treatment was done which showed uh, complete regression. So to discuss the higher binding affinity of eflivercept to the VEGF receptors causes quick induction of regression, intermediate molecular size leads to longer duration of action, maintained regression with late recurrence, continuous progression of vascularization to the higher zone, the less area of laser, hence less structural damage, no systemic side effects like neurodevelopmental delay related to any possible systemic VEGF suppression. 
So to conclude, eflimersib injection can safely be used in various types of severe ROP in zone 1 disease and uh, extent of regression may vary case to case with the se severity of uh, in ROP in initial presentation. Repeat injection may be required, chances of recurrence is there, longer duration of action, so less amount of laser is required. So they should be followed up very closely and diligently to monitor the extent of regression and disease recurrence for second intervention. Thank you. So, um, good study. I have one or two questions for you. One yes. is, uh, most of the babies you had injected around 32 weeks. Yes. And uh, the, your mean interval at which a second injection or a laser was done was 6.3 weeks. Sir, which was, that means it was about at 38 weeks, uh, 38 to 39 weeks you had given the injection or done the laser. So laser at was done even, uh, most of the laser was done even later on, like 8 weeks, after 8 weeks of post injection. So that is about 40 weeks, yes. fine. So what was the indication, because by that time of 38 weeks, <laughs> it would have gone to zone 3. No sir, there was, uh, that 9 I showed signs of recurrence. So that is why you did the laser. Okay. But they had gone beyond uh, zone 2, that's okay. why you done the laser. And you showed that uh, the laser was done up to 16 weeks. Uh, that is a persistent uh, avascular retina was there. So, so that we had treated with the laser. That means around at 48 weeks uh, from the time uh, for the yeah, just up to 56 weeks also. We you did laser. Yes. So generally, the laser once the baby beyond becomes beyond 46 weeks, it is, is a big baby handling doing laser is not very easy. But there was a very small area at like zone three, maybe two or three, two clock hours maybe. So okay. we did not want to leave it. In one case, you had showed there is a cystoid macular edema. Yes. Sir. So, what is the possible explanation in like after the injection? Yeah, actually, it came six weeks post injection. It was an incidental finding. After the injection, okay. there was no C CME. But we saw clinically, so we did the OCT actually, and those saw that CME is there, but it was there only in the right eye. And that eye only had a choreoretinal scar, and that baby had a CNV infection, serious infection. So, we thought that there might be some other inflammatory causes for the CME, not the injection per se. And the other I also did not show any CME. And how do you perform this OCT in this That uh, flying baby technique. Thank you.